How are we doing? I'm Dustin like the chore and today I'm playing Exanum the Silent Call. It is a psychological horror game with chilling secrets and terrifying mysteries. So we're just going to jump into it and uh, see what it's all about. Here we go. Also, thank you to the developer for providing these activation codes. I will be giving away two free copies of this game. Just check it out at the very end of this video. Why am I here? I don't remember anything. The only thing I remember is that I was driving with my daughter and my wife in the car. After that, um, whoa, 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 oh, what? Is this like my eyeball? Is it? What? Uh, so I think I'm looking through a mask. I don't know. This is weird. We'll just dive in. We'll dive in and see if we can figure it out. Looks like I'm in like a, a jail cell of some sort. And there's medication. That's weird. What does this say? That's not a language I am familiar with, I don't think. Or it's just spelt weird. I have no idea. My, in, my, head. Is this reversed or is it supposed to be like that? I'm confused right now. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. This is great. This is great. This is, this is exactly how I want to start things off. Also, is that kind of quiet? I think it is a little bit. Wondrous. That is that is the level of audio it should be. Okay, now we have the setting. Now now it sounds terrifying. What is this? Okay, this is my sprint. Getting familiar right now. Surgery? Well, yes. Oh, the door opened. Oh, I did not expect that. Okay. All right. This is a very interesting take on how to set up your camera, which it seems like I'm, I have a mask on, which if I was in this situation, I'd probably try to take it off. I don't, I don't know. Just me. Just me. Man, what is... Just me. <sighs> Hold on. I got a lot of hair going on right now. In between phases at the moment, trying to figure out what I want to do with it. So, yeah. Okay, so surgery room's a no-go. This looks like a no-go, so maybe this way. I don't know if there's, like, things I can pick up or not. I haven't really seen anything. Bathroom. Bathroom's locked? What if I need to go? What's going on in here, guys? Okay, what's the banging? Hey, so far I'm too comfortable to be scared, so there's nothing wrong with what we're doing here. Hmm. Okay, hey there. Uh. You got a mask on too? Nice. Yeah. Nice nice to see that I have a fellow comrade. A, a comrade fellow wearing the same attire as me. This... Why does this game look so familiar? Like the map almost looks like a map I've played on before. just happened that's weird sound just totally stops well at least you know that nothing else is going on whenever you go into this that's good that's good oh reading read note yes subject jason mercer dear authorities this note contains important information regarding the patient jason mercer at saint valentine's valentine's hospital 
Jason Mercer is a 37-year-old man who has recently been admitted to our hospital. He is undergoing treatment at St. Valentin's Hospital, but we do not have a complete information about this about his condition and treatment. More information is needed about his personal and med medical history. Based on our observations at the hospital, we would like to highlight some of the important points about Jason Mercer. Jason is an extremely mysterious and introverted individual. He struggles to communicate and often appears to be withdrawn into his own inner world. During his time at the hospital, Jason has been observed experiencing hallucinations and occasionally disassociating from reality. This raises serious concerns about Jason's mental health. Well, Jason, man, have I played this game before? I don't think I have. I haven't, but this is like oddly familiar. Maybe I watched someone play a while back or recently. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't watch the whole gameplay though. Cause I remember seeing this mask, but then I stopped watching it. It just seems, this game seems so familiar. So familiar. I don't know. I think it's the map though. I really do. Cause this, this reminds me of like a, I think one of the, I did a ho holiday special for Christmas. And I think one of the maps really reminds me of. Okay. Yes. A hundred percent triple down. I know exactly what map this is. Krampus kills has the same exact map, like almost exact. This, this is the same map, I swear it is, as Krampus Kills, or very similar. Maybe it's another game, I don't know. It's all your fault. What is my fault? Oof. What did I do? Is it my fault, or is it their fault? Whose fault is it? There's a door over here. Don't jump and scare me. Okay. All good. Sounds like there's a lot of things going on here, but I haven't seen anyone else other than that guy that wearing the same outfit as me. Is this psychological horror because I'm in a mental hospital? Maybe. There's something red over here. What is that? You see that under the bed? Where'd he go? I swear I saw something red right there. What? That is creepy. Ah, uh, where to next? I don't know. Oh, is this a staircase? Oh, that's where I went down. Oh! Did I pick up a key? Oh, I did. I did. I'm a doofus. Oh, hey, bud. You doing all right? Say something about a key. You're kind of charred, man. It's locked. Um, please don't get up. Am I the only sane person in this place? We got another note. From the early hours of the morning, the influx of patients and visitors began. However, the day started off like any ordinary day until those strange phone calls arrived. At 10.30, the main phone rang with a call from a number 2120. Initially, I thought it might be a routine call from the patient or visitor, but there was no sound, only silence and a strange static noise that could be heard. I waited for a while, but there was nothing on the other end. A few minutes later, a second call came from the same number, and this time, strange noises could be heard. I started to feel a bit concerned and decided to record the calls and decided to record the oh, decided to record the calls and report them to security department. However, when the third call came, I was met with an even more alarming situation. The caller was speaking incoherently, and their tone was unsettling. I immediately informed the security department and continued to keep records of the incoming calls. We had never encountered such a situation before. For the rest of the day, things proceeded normally among the patients and visitors. However, those peculiar phone calls still linger in my mind. 
Right. So, two, what was that? It was two, one, two, zero. I'm, oh, oh, hello. Hello, where's my phone? Phone? Is that just to be a jump scare? Where's my phone? Maybe it was just a dump, jump scare. I don't, I don't see a phone. Oh, there it is. Hello? Two. Okay. And then enter. Two, one, two, zero. That was it, right? I think. What? That sounds weird. I don't like this. This is unsettling. This is very unsettling. Close the door. Nope. Okay. Don't close the door. I don't care. Oh, flashlight. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Where's this? Anyone in here? In the bathroom? Hello? I'm gonna check each stall, because why not? Let's take my... Okay. What's in here? Oh. Lovely. Lovely. I found a key. Oh, that's what the guy was mummering about. Murmuring. Memoring. Where'd he go? He's gone. Why is he on the other side now? Where's my guy? Where's my buddy? Oh, I'm outside. Can I leave? I'm just gonna leave. I'm gonna jump the fence. Oh, hello. What is that? Okay, so there's a door over here. I'm gonna check real quick. Just uh, check and be sure. Because I don't want to miss something. Okay. Yeah, it's a, it's not a real door. The handle didn't even stick out. Uh -huh. Hey! Hey, fellow! Little lady? Um, sir? Okay. Where did you go? I know I'm sane. I'm outside now. I'm breathing. I'm breathing real air. Oh, there you are. You gonna open the gate for me? How kind of you. I don't know why at the moment, but I just apologized. And she said, this is your fault. Did I get in a car crash? I wonder. Oh. It was all a dream. It was all a dream. Yes. I can do that. I can turn that off. Yeah, that's fine. Find Jessica. Jessica! Oh, Jess. Where are you? Where are you? Jessica, Jessica. Wow, you need to put something on your hinges. You need some WD-40 or something. That That's too much. That is too much, sir. Jessica was changing clothes in the room. We had plans for today. Oh, I don't get to talk to Jessica? Okay. It's a shame. Okay, so we have plans for the day. Maybe I should get... Oh, here we go. Take care of your daily needs. Wash your face. Take a shower. Oh, yes. Use the sink. Yeah. Okay, we'll use the sink. I'll get them all done. It'll be cake. Gotta be clean. Gotta be clean, bro. Nice. What else? Was there one more? I think there was one more, but I don't know. I didn't read it all. Can I see it? Is there a way to see my current objectives? I don't know. Maybe eat some food? I, I have no idea. And the field of view in this game is so tight. 
kind of creepy. Okay, um, what? Oh, hello? Oh, eat some food. Okay. Yay. Hello? The caller was Emily, Sarah's mother. I don't know who Sarah is. She was asking if we could come to the birthday party. You're about to hit the road. That's a shame. That is a shame. Sorry. Sorry, Sarah or Emily. Uh, both of you. We're about to, after taking the flashlight, get in the car. Oh! We have somewhere to be, and I need a flashlight with me for some reason. That's not creepy at all. That's a... That's how I get into my vehicles. I just grab a flashlight and then jump right in. Why in the world would I need a flashlight? I actually keep one in my car, but in this specific instance, I decided to grab another one. Yeah, I need the best one. Oh my gosh. That is terrifying. All right, Jessica, I'll see you later. You're taking forever to get ready. Turned on my flashlight before I got in. We were running late for the birthday party. That's why we chose the shorter forest road, but the tree was blocked our path. Oh my gosh, the tree blocked our path. Okay, so I don't see you, Jessica, but I'm sure you're in there. You can turn the flashlight with F, and then I'm going to remove the tree. There's no freaking way, dude. Um... <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I'll go down this creepy path where the tree fell over. I should explore the surroundings first. Okay, let's explore the surroundings, even though I feel like I was pretty on it with where I should go. Something going to jump scare me? All right, Jessica, you're on your own. We're not going to turn back, you know, because we're late for that birthday party. Oh, there's another light over here. Did I miss this one? Oh, good, goody, yeah, uh-huh. It's exactly what we like to see in the middle of the forest, right next to where the tree fell over. Is there a way into that one? Maybe? Oh, shoot. Huh. Oh, it's, oh man. Get in the car. Okay. Can I go this way now? I feel like I should be able to go this way now. Okay. Oh, good. Um, hello, is anyone here? I need to, I need help. This is how you die. This this is this is it. This is this is the reason why people die. What is that stick? What? What is this stick doing? Actually. Is that my arrow? I don't think so. I, I, I'm i confused. There's a fence line. I can follow it. There's another stick. Maybe I'm going the right way if I see the sticks. Yep. Wow. Um. Hard pass. Hard pass. Oh, your door's unlocked. Hello? Oh, is this your crawl space? You really should lock your crawl space. Hmm. The, uh, vibe got, um... Jessica, just stay in the car. Oh, I'll find us a way out. I'll, I'll find a chainsaw. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Anyone home? Uh, you left your door open. I figured it was an open door policy. Ah, oh, that's weird. I just got this flashlight, too. That's, that's so weird. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hello? Ah, oh, that door's locked. Don't mean to alarm anyone. Oh, I thought that was blood. That's just a shirt. 
Hello? Do you have a chainsaw? Did you knock the tree over on purpose? Just so I would come into your house? Okay. So... Is this a reused asset? I'm very confused because this is definitely a backwards thing that says we will make it. Uh, what does that say? This is weird. I'm seeing it as you're seeing it. It is flipped. But if we want to make it right, we could totally just do this. Can I flip it? I can. What does it say? Oh, man. In God we trust, we will make it. So I'm going to flip it back because you need to see it as I see it, but I'm kind of concerned. Why are these assets kind of flipped? Maybe just so it seems different than other ones. Weird. Won't think too much about it. Uh, anyways, not game breaking at all, but do you guys have a chainsaw? No? Okay. Hmm. Um, did I learn how to crouch? I did not, but I figured it out. Ah, what is that? Ah, someone was watching us and took a photo of us and then sat it right here. <laughs> Who would do that? Hello? Is that your chainsaw? No. My flashlight still doesn't work. Can we turn this off? Please? Okay. Mm -hmm. Wait, is that a door? What is this? What am I looking at? Push this out of the way. What the heck? I'm so confused. Let's keep going down this way. Is that a door? Looks like a door. Doesn't work like a door. Huh. Alright, well, I'll just head out now. No one's home. No one's, no one's home. Oh, this door's open now. How convenient. Okay, well, I'll just go in here and see if there's a chainsaw. Or someone to help me. Oh, it's open. There's a, there's a, oh. yeah, another locked door. Maybe that's where I'm going next. That door doesn't even respond. Okay. Okay, let's go toward the red light. Why not? What? Hello? Knock, knock. Hello? Ah, there we go. Stupid flashlight. Just need... Oh, they're remodeling. I see. They're painting the floors red. That's pretty... Pretty nice. Oh, gosh, why? 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 That was unnecessary. Yeah, okay. Okay. That was, that was not, that was not necessary. Jessica! Jessica! Oh, man. At least she screamed. I would have not known. Come on. Oh, hello there! Yes! Uh, we're playing hide and seek now? Okay, it's raining. I don't have an umbrella. Jessica. Jessica. Where are you, Jessica? Jessica, Jessica, I'm looking for you. I haven't seen you in person yet, but I know you're my wife, girlfriend, person. 
The tree's still here. Jessica, are you in here? I Jessica's not here. That is not good. Oh, where should we go? Maybe toward the dead animal. <laughs> I have goosebumps and I am terrified. Jessica? Are you there, hon? Is it a Wendigo? Hello? Man, this is a hill. Uh, <laughs> how did she get up this? Okay. Oh, that light just went out. Uh, that's not good. That is never good. Uh, Jessica? I hear a dog. That's a, that's a good sign. When you hear a dog, dogs normally mean civilization or at least a human. That isn't completely a terrible person. Maybe a terrible person, but not completely. Because I love dogs. Jessica? This is quite the path. Did you run down it? I didn't know you were so athletic. I'm having a hard time. I keep my eyes peeled for any more jump scares. Right? Oh, Jessica, did you drop your flashlight? Why is your flashlight so much smaller than mine? I'll read the note. Why not? Why not? Why not? Oh! Okay. Yeah, well, I don't need to read that anymore. Okay. Right. Right. That... What? Oh. Oh, I thought the, I thought the fence closed on me. Right. Right. What is that? Is that another fellow? Whoa, wait. Wait, 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 wait. We got multiple paths right now. What is going on? I can't see. It's getting louder. Is this another house? It is. She's got to be there. My flashlight isn't doing anything. Honestly, it's doing just as much to blind me as it is to help me. What is that? Got some weird neighbors over here, man. Yeah, let's just go into the creepy house. Oh, it's locked. Great. Great. Do I have to go out back? <laughs> per the use, nothing. Oh, they're remodeling too. While searching for Jessica, I found a house. Perhaps she could be here. I was hoping it would just cut through this part. I don't want to do this. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, and the flashlight doesn't work. Oh, how, how great. How awesome. This, this is great. This is great. This is great. Okay. More reading. Today, I got lost again. Those gray clouds are hovering above me, enveloping my soul. Enveloping? Yeah, enveloping my soul. The medications as if attempting to alleviate the darkness in my mind, but how effective they are, I don't know. This frail body, this tired mind, it feels like I'm getting heavier every day. No matter how hard I try, I feel like I'm lost in the darkness. People around me talk, laugh, continue living. I, on the other hand, am an observer, a mere figure of existence on the edge of life, even though I am in this world, I can't establish a connection with it. My journal is kind of an internal scream. Perhaps no one will read these lines, but writing it seems to alleviate the, this weight 
if only a little, yet even among these pages I feel lost. Maybe the loneliness could lead me to find someone, perhaps in this place where I'm lost. I could find a glimmer of hope, a light, maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. It seems like you are in a weird place, man. It seems like this house is not the place you should be. Or lady. Or lady. Very dark note. Very. Could be darker. Could be. Okay. So your house is actually not bad. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Oh. Okay, what, what is... What, what is that? Is that a key? What? Why is it freaking out? <laughs> it's going. <laughs> I mean, it's not. A, it's not funny, but like, come on. <laughs> like, okay, there we go. Oh, it just ended. Okay, sweet, sweet, sweet. I think I got a key. I did. I got a key. Yes. Okay, uh, looks like something happened here. I don't want to say or jump to conclusions yet. But it looks like something happened here. Just call me a genius. Um, Jessica? We're still looking for Jessica. Okay. There's a light switch. Light switch doesn't even work. Oh, there we go. What? Yeah, close that. Oh. I don't have a key. Let's use a flashlight instead. Nope. Okay. Combine? I can combine? I didn't know that. What was that? You try to barricade the door? It opens this way. Anyone here? Anyone here? Yes, it is very dark. I don't see a light switch. And yes, it is very dark. I can't even go in here. Oh, okay. So we don't have a flashlight at the moment. And it's very dark wherever I go. Just news flash. News flash for you. There we go. Nice. Oh. Someone's playing with me. Oh. Hey, bud. Hey! 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 What happened? Okay. Right. 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 Yes. Where do I go? I don't know. I just got here. Um. Maybe that door? No, not that door. Okay. Is my flashlight working yet? Um, I'll go back upstairs. Oh! What was that? I, I see that it's dark, but what was, what was that noise? Did someone unlock that chest? What's going on here? No, what's going on? What? What the what? What the? I heard something unlock. So maybe it was downstairs. I have no idea. We'll head back downstairs. Yes, we will. Oh! That was locked. Um, your light switch isn't working. Okay. Oh, another another key. Lovely. Love lovely. Lovely. Oh, we got some games. What's up? Exandum the silent call. What I'm playing? Again and again. Maybe another one? That's kind of a cool Easter egg. Anyone on the phone? Oh my gosh, come on! <sighs> Hello?
Excuse me? Hello? I didn't know what you... What, what did they say? I actually don't know what they said. But, I'm sure they got the wrong number. That's probably what they said. Okay, 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 okay. I have a key. Oh. Jessica? Hey, you? Is that you, Jessica? Hey, Jessica? Oh! <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey! Hello? Hey, you need to get your uh, mental checked because that was for sure in your brain. Oh my gosh. They need to let the paint dry before they walk all over it. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Lovely. The house seems to be getting more and more messy by the minute. Okay, so I have a key. Let's get back to what I was focused on. I have a key. And this light's off. And this is not the right room. I'm a doofus. Okay. Hopefully this key opens up this chest. I, this is actually the most safe room, I feel. I feel very safe in this room. Can't use this item here. Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so I need to find a room that needs a key. That's what it seems. And there's a couple more rooms I haven't really hit. And I think this next one I'm about to hit is a basement. No. Okay. Let's go back in here. We're gonna go back in the sketchy area. Sketchy room. Ah, oh, good. That's just dandy i can't see anything what is that that is not good and we got that and oh oh so i don't even need a key for that okay i found myself alone with the painful thoughts that i struggle to put on paper the echoes of my daughter still intoxicate my soul and i feel the need to empty myself by writing these lines her laughter was the only light that illuminated my world of the gray even if just a little but my life played a cruel game to steal that light away from me what i did was not intentional confronting the truth from the time to time reflecting on what i have done and what i couldn't do feels like an earthquake shaking my core maybe you couldn't understand maybe you can't understand perhaps no one will read these lines but you should know that it wasn't my choices, but the circumstances beyond my control that led me down this path. My writings are nothing more than a desperate scream within myself. Even if no one reads these words, writing brings some relief. Perhaps within these pages, I am lo a lost soul, but maybe one day these expressions will leave a mark where I, am, where I got lost. So I'm starting to think that this is his mind. Like we're deep in a guy's mind and something happened to his daughter that was either in his control or not in his control. And now, I don't know how I just got this, uh, but now he's kind of experiencing it all again. And that's why I keep on getting jump scares and that's why everything's kind of weird. That's why I'm gathering. So I think this is more like in his head, which... It's kind of messed up right now. They talked about medication and how that was supposed to help. So I think that's where this is leading. I think. I could be absolutely wrong with that, though. But you have a messed up mind if that's the case. But I digress. I digress. Okay, so I have the, the, the things to cut the thingies. The thing, the thing for the thing. So we're going to cut it open and see what happens. Oh, I saw that key, too. 
Yes. Snap it. Open it. Can I open it? What was the point in doing that? Oh. I don't know what that was, but what is this? You see these numbers? I saw that downstairs somewhere too. Is that number? I don't know. I, I don't even know what that symbol is. Maybe it's just telling me I'm on the right path. Oh, it's a hidden hidden room. And a lighter. Outstanding. Silent call. Huh. Huh. Oh, go back. Okay, let me read this note first before we get into that nice novel. That day was another nightmare. I experienced one of the darkest moments of my life. My wife, the most precious part of my life, slipped away tragically in a car accident. The sound of the collision... Okay, so I was kind of right at the very beginning with the whole wreck thing. The sound of coll the collision, shattered glass, even remembering the pain, pains in my heart. In that moment, time stood still and everything was dragged into a sudden dark void. But the pain didn't end there. My daughter became paralyzed as a result of my accident. Witnessing her to cling on to life every day, yet failing shatters my heart even more. I raised her with my own hands, embraced her with love, and now it feels like I've taken her life with my own hands. I couldn't be a good father. Every day I question why I've brought such pain into my family. Perhaps writing these lines can somewhat alleviate the destruction within me, but right now... I feel like a lost, shattered soul. That is so sad. I couldn't imagine being the reason why my wife died, let alone my child. I don't have a child, but I know, I don't know what it's like to have a child, but I do know what it's like to have a child. I have dogs, not the same thing. I know it's not, but I do have an attachment to my dogs. So just imagining losing them or having them go through like a pain because of me is bad. And I can't even imagine what it'd be like if it was a child. Because that's on a whole nother level. That's an innocence that you can't take away or you can't give back. Yeah, that's an innocence you can't give back. So that's hard. That's very hard. Now we're going to read this creepy novel. There's a lot here. Oh. Oh, so he got into some demonic stuff, maybe. Maybe trying to bring back his wife. I don't really care to read it, though. Uh, you can read it, and you can pause it and read it if you'd like. Oh, I, have a, I can get in here now. Yes. What's going on in here? Is this my house, maybe? Or is it, I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to figure Padlock key. Can't use this item. Okay. I don't care. I don't want to use the item. This must be my house. Maybe it was my old house back in the day before everything happened. And now it's just gone to shambles. Or maybe it's just my imagination of what life was at one point. What is this? See, there's a number. And there's someone... Right there. Today, I couldn't resist the anger boiling within me once again. I hate everything. This dull life, the painful memories, and most of all, the nightmares within myself. My doctor couldn't rescue me from this, this chaos. These medications, instead of calming the storm inside me, they seem to intensify it. Why isn't he healing me? Why can't he find a cure for my illness? These questions are driving me even more insane. I'm lost and helpless. My anger feels like a natural reaction to all of this. Perhaps, I hope, this internal storm will calm one day. But for now, the darkness within me leaves the bitter taste of hatred. There's a lot of, a lot of things you go through whenever there's death. Especially, I feel like if you're the one that causes it. Uh, death alone in itself is hard. I know that there, you go through a lot of stages of grief. Uh, but 
when you cause it. And it's your fault. And you're still alive, but your family is dead or paralyzed in this case. I feel like the grief would be intensified tenfold. It'd be, it'd be very hard. I don't even... Yeah, I don't know. See, I see these numbers. I'm probably going to need them later. I have been paying attention to them. There's like one five was the last couple. Got really quiet. Yeah, I don't. Oh, it opened. What? Oh, geez. Take. I don't know how I got that open with it opened. Puzzle. Examine. Dang it. Okay, so that is good to know. Okay, so there's one in here. Which, how do I pull this out? Inventory? What, what, tab. Examine. Man, there's so many. Okay, tab, examine. I don't need to examine that. Okay, so this one is. What? Uh, maybe the bottom one's five, but I don't think so. So I'm going to continue to look around. I have a key, though. Where did I see the other one? Was it in here? I don't remember. I don't remember where I saw it. So maybe I'll just look around for a bit. There's one. It's actually one. Okay. This wasn't the first one I saw, though. So one is one. Top one is one. And I think bottom is five if that lines up right. But we, we'll keep looking around until I find something that might. The so one is top. That's so easy. Okay, we're good. I can remember that. Top one is one. Gonna go back in here again. I think there's one in here. Yes, there is, and it is seven. Seven, 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 seven. Um, that is seven. So one, seven. One, seven, something five as of right now. Unless I find another symbol that looks closer to that bottom one. One, seven, something five. One seven something five. One seven something. Some, something going on? Okay. Let me check this out. Puzzle, 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 puzzle. One seven zero five. We're going to try it. Can I use this? Man, I thought it was going to be this. I thought so. Man, that's weird. Man. One, seven, zero, five. Ones. Oh, frickin' frick, man. Why? 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 Why with the words, man? Frickin'. Okay, I guess we're going to go down. One, seven, zero, five! One seven zero five 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 what is that noise okay what did i just do oh 
Nice. What is down here? Oh, what the heck? That was. What the, oh. okay, 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 okay. What is that? What did I find? This basement is massive. Before I get into that, let me look around. One. Uh, let me read that actually first because I feel like I have the combo. Oh. Oh. Hello. Huh. Why is some stuff backwards and some stuff isn't? That's so weird to me. No way. <laughs> I can't do it again. That sucks. Okay. My daughter, my little angel, was dependent on life support in the hospital bed. And facing this reality was becoming increasingly difficult with each passing day. I didn't want it. No, I didn't want her to breathe in this dark world. I didn't want to condemn her to this life of pain and sorrow. Yet every day, the sounds of machines tethered to her tired body were shattering my heart. The turmoil within me, alongside the pain of feeling like a parent, was shaken by the desire to do what was best for her. Perhaps shutting off these machines would be the best decision for her. But making that decision was deepening the cracks created within myself. I didn't know what to do. All I knew is that I wanted an end to my daughter's suffering. And maybe making this decision could be the final gift for her. Man. That is hard. That is hard. That's very hard. I couldn't even imagine. One, seven, zero, five. Yes. Yes. Oh. What just happened? I have always fought with myself. I can never change the outcome. It's a rude awakening. I'm here. And I'll be here forever. Oh my gosh. And that's his diary. Oh my gosh. What a terrible. Just stuck in his thoughts always. That's awful. That's so sad. I think this is the end of the game, right? This, the, the story of this game is amazing. I mean, as amazing as in it's it's very well thought out and it's sad, man. That's sad. Uh, I couldn't imagine myself if that happened to me. I don't know what I would do with myself. It's a that's a dark place. It's a very dark place, uh, and I hope that no one ever has to go to that place. I know it happens, and it's unfortunate. Accidents happen, uh, and it would be it would suck if you were the one to survive it all. You know, especially if it was your fault. Yeah, that's hard. Very very good story very well well told all in all like just drive safe accidents happen drive safe don't drink and drive tell people to wear seat belts you know uh because you never know you never know and honestly tell people that you love you love them because you never know when that could be the last time you see them never leave a conversation with someone that you love uh in a negative light because that could be the last time which is kind of weird to think about it's a very raw thing to think about but it's a thing and life isn't forever life is a blessing and a privilege to live it and let others know how much they mean to you my gosh Oh, 
man. That was really good. That was really good. But if you did enjoy this and you got this far, I am going to be giving away two free copies of this game. Uh, there'll be Steam activation codes. And all you have to do is comment the code that got me out of the basement. And then you'll have a chance to win. Uh, but thank you for watching this far. I hope you really enjoyed it. Please subscribe and like this video and comment your favorite part and the code. Because it's, it's pretty simple. I said it like 40 times. Understand that life isn't guaranteed always. You're, 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 the next day isn't guaranteed. It's a privilege. And you have people in your life that you love very much. You should definitely tell them that any chance you get. And if you don't, maybe you're alone. I'm here for you. And if you want to chat, comment, or even shoot me an email. I have an email in my comment or my community page, whatever, wherever it is. It's, it's within my YouTube somewhere. You, you can find it. And if you can't, just comment and ask for it. Uh, but I'm here. If you want to chat, or if you have something that you want to talk about that you're down about, I know this was kind of a down, downy game, a little down in the dumps game. Uh, I don't struggle with depression. I get, you know, I, I say I get depressed about some things, but I don't struggle with the actual thing that is called depression, which is a mental, a mental illness. You know, and if you struggle with that, uh, don't be afraid to reach out to me if you have no one else. Um, so I will absolutely be here for you. But please subscribe, like the video, and uh, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.